welcome back this is Ray hey today we're going to be checking out some tech this is not camera gear this is tech to charge your phone power ad contacted me they said they liked the channel and asked me can I check out some of their phone charging products phone chargers are not exciting but when they sent me a link and I saw this particular charger I was very intrigued because it's different than uh, any other charger I've seen before um, first of all, it has 21,000 milliamps. What that means is a, a normal phone battery, uh, a big phone, will be about 4,000 milliamps. So what that means is this theoretically could charge a phone almost five times, uh, which is incredible. It's deceivingly heavy, solid, feels like a little brick. Uh, another cool thing is it has two USB ports. You can charge two phones at a time, and I've done this, and um, it works It works exactly as it should. Um, what's even more interesting is one of these ports uh, is a higher voltage uh, port. It charges at 5 to 6 volts, uh, while this one here charges at 5 volts. So if you have a high power device uh, that requires more power to charge, uh, this is the one you'd use, the one with the blue uh, pin on the inside. Another thing it has that it doesn't need, but they added it anyway, which is cool as a flashlight, um, as you can see right here. It's not a terribly bright flashlight, but it's there, and you can use it, and this thing could probably run for days uh, at the low wattage that it is, because it's an LED light, um, and that's cool. And finally, the most unusual thing it has is this LCD display. The display shows how much power is left in it. And that's something I've never seen in a battery charger. Most of them have like a status light, but not a digital display with the numbers on it. And right now this one's at 100%. Um, it takes about eight hours to fully charge from zero. And most time I review products, I try to find something I don't like. Um, and I, it's hard. Um, I can't find anything because it does exactly what it's supposed to do and more. I guess if you want to nitpick, it could be uh, waterproof, if they made it waterproof, so you could go hiking in the rain, but that's not really necessary. Um, but there is one important omission. In the package, this comes with a, a USB cable to charge it, but it does not come with the charge adapter. And uh, the reason that may be a problem is because it requires at least five volts to charge. And if the charger you have does not uh, produce five volts of power, it may not be enough to fully charge this. So I, it's, it's important, in my opinion, that they had included uh, the proper voltage charger in the package. But uh, that being said, um, all the chargers that I have uh, do provide up to five volts, so I didn't have any problem. So uh, that's one thing to think about. Next thing I wanna show you is this wireless charging pad uh, that they sent me. Um, unfortunately, the, the phone I have is not wireless charging capable, so I really can't test this. Um, but it's pretty basic. There's only uh, one LED light on the front and it uh, flashes different colors based on its status. Um, and really you just rest the phone on it and, and plug it in. It's capable of uh, high speed charging. I think they call it Qi charging. Uh, so it is a very modern uh, wireless charger. And I'll put, a, I'll put the price on the screen somewhere here. I don't remember the exact price offhand, but uh, Power Ad does not have a lot of products yet on their Amazon store, but um, they're starting out with a bang and it's a company I really want to keep up with. And uh, again, I want to thank Sylvia at Power Ad for sending these products out for testing. I want to thank you for watching this episode and as always, until next time, keep it real.